Hi, my name is Aeneas2020 and this is how to make a grayscale for Armour 2. Okay, let's start. You're going to want to go into your Armour directory, wherever you've got that saved. And I've got Armour on Steam, which I know a lot of people don't like, but I'm going to just go in here. Alright, the first thing you want to do is locate your Armour add-ons folder. And for this, we're going to go ahead and get our Characters 2 PBO. I'm just going to copy it and I've created a folder in my documents or sorry my computer called armor 2 dump make all the jokes you want anyway I'm just going to paste my characters 2 PBO into here it's important you don't edit your original characters 2 PBO and once it's done copying these items across I will show you what to do next Alright, you're going to need a program called Eliteness and then once you have Eliteness installed you can go ahead and go to your Armor 2 dump folder and where it says Characters 2 PBO here you can just double click and it'll say do you want to extract the PBO and you just click yes or OK. Let it do its magic which is taking some time I should also note. In the meantime then perhaps I should add you're going to need to have Photoshop installed for this tutorial. If you're running GIMP or something like that I have no idea how to use that and you can probably work out how to use GIMP as well but that's not really my speciality. So these are the two tools you're going to need Eliteness and Photoshop. Alright, once everything pops up here in Eliteness, you're good to go. You can close out of that, go to Photoshop, go to Open, browse to your Armour 2 dump directory, go into Characters 2, and for this I'm just going to grayscale, uh, let's see, let's do the CDF Commander. Go into Blue for Data. Now the two folders we're going to need to use here are the Commander underscore Co dot PAA, and the command underscore nohq.paa. Now, underscore co is the color map, which is basically the way the texture is going to look in game, and the nohq is the normal map, which we're, I'm going to use in a special way I'll show you right now. Now, just click yes for both the options on the normal map, and just click yes when it asks you if you want to discard mit maps. Now, you'll see here, this is kind of what the texture looks like in game, and you think, okay, fair enough. Well, to make grayscale is pretty simple. You just highlight this, image adjustments and desaturate it, and this is essentially your grayscale. Now I'm just going to copy and paste it over the original color map, say no. Alright, now, some of the things I don't want to grayscale out are things without camouflage on them, because you know, we, can, we don't need to edit those really, so let's go ahead and just select around these various parts right here and I'm just doing this roughly you can take as much time as you want doing it select that area delete it and the boots as well and delete that alright now you can see we switched between those two layers we've got a pretty good grayscale. Now we can just create a layer on top of that. Let's say for example I wanted to give him red shirt and pants, why not? Well let's go ahead and fill that and uh, there we go and give him some nice pink clothes. That's pretty much the basics of creating a grayscale in armor and I will do some further videos showing you how to create complete custom grayscales and normal maps and also how to get your textures into game at a later date. Thank you very much.